Keyboard shortcuts can help you cut your development time in half. That's why in this video, we're gonna go over eight keyboard shortcuts that you probably didn't know. So the first one is gonna be Control or Command, Shift and P. Now that is gonna allow us to go in and out of the preview mode. And this is a much faster way to do this rather than to go and click on the I toggle view every single time. Now, this is not something that you're gonna be doing every single time. Maybe it might be easier just to use your mouse, but it's good to know. Now, the next one is gonna be using the numbers to jump between the individual breakpoints. Now, this is a much faster way to go in and out of the mobile rather than using the mouse every single time. Now, especially this is gonna be useful when you have a big project and you're jumping between sections and pages and there's just a colossal thing to do. So it's much easier just to use one, two, three, and four, depending on what order these are in, in your case, but this is a much faster way to just jump between those breakpoints. Another shortcut that saved me a ton of hours while working on some massive, massive projects is Command or Control and Enter. That will allow us to control the style selector directly with our keyboard. So we don't have to directly go in and use our mouse to change our class. Now we can also use Delete to change the, or delete the, the class that we're trying to talk about here. I'm gonna go ahead and Command Z or Control Z to put that back. But this is a really fast way to go in and out of your classes here. Another thing to note within this shortcut is that if you do go ahead and duplicate this class, you have the same styling of everything that you selected there. So for example, a line into the center here, but you can just change the name of this class. We can call it Hero Grid number two, just as an example here. And we can see that this is gonna have the same exact styling, but a new name. So this is great when you don't want duplicate names or Hero Grid two, three, four, five, for example. Now in this case, okay, that might be a bad naming selection here. Let's go ahead and say, Hero Grid homepage, something like that. That makes it a little bit more obvious. So command and enter is gonna be very useful in cases like this when we need to rename a lot of different layers or classes in this case. So command and enter and we can just change that up or add a combo classes if we need to. So in this case, I'm gonna add hero. So we can see that we can start to change this and make a new design if we wanted to with this combo class. But I'm just gonna click command and enter and delete that class. So you can see that it's a much faster way than manually trying to go in here and select the one that you want. So when you're trying to drag in a new element, you can either go in to the add element here, go into elements, find the one that you want. Like for example, I'm trying to find the button here. So I'm just gonna grab the button, drag it in here. Okay, maybe put into the right one. So I'll just put it there for now, maybe move it up. So you can do all of that mess, or you can delete this here, select the exact same place where you want it, do Command and K, so that'll bring up the search bar, and we can now type in the button that we want. So that will place it directly into the section where you are selecting it from the layer panel here. So this is a much faster way of doing that rather than going into the ad, picking the button, dragging it into their direct place, you mess up, you need to move it. So this is a much faster way of doing that. It's just Command K, and you can type in any element that you have to go ahead and just drop that in here. Now you can do that with buttons, you can do that with divs, with images, with even layouts if you wanted to, and we'll get into that in a second, but this is a much faster way than going into the add element here. Now, in terms of the layouts, depending on what library you have set up in Webflow, you can also start to add in those sections. So for example, if you go into the layouts, we can see the starter library that they give us as a default. I can go ahead and look for this hero if I wanted to. So I'm gonna go into the body, Command K and type in hero. We can see that we have all of these layouts that we can then select and paste where we want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna click on the first one because I don't remember exactly which one it was, but it looks like the right one. And now we can just move it to where we want it to be. So this is a faster way of going in and clicking where you want it to go. It's just typing in Command and K or Control K and you have that section right in front of you. If you have a massive site and you wanna make sure that your progress is being saved, you can either publish it just to make sure that that version is being published out into the world, or you can hit Shift, Control, or Command and S. This brings up the save backup modal, and here you can add in your own description of your backup, and that will then be stored as a custom backup. So this is a great way to just have that peace of mind that your work is being saved, and you can go out and eat your lunch and do whatever you need to do, then come back and work on that backup that you were just working on there. So this is a great peace of mind to have. You can know for sure that you saved that backup and you can always go back to it if you need to, but just in case you can add the description so you know which one you're referring to. If I'm working on a large project and I wanna select an exact layer, one thing that I could do is either go through the layer panel or if I wanna select it directly on the designer, I can go ahead and click Shift, Command, or Control, and X. 
And that will bring up our x-ray mode. And in the x-ray mode, we can see the boundaries of all the divs that we have here. So we can see that there's something wrong with this tag. For some reason, there is spacing on the right, the top and the bottom, but there isn't any on the left side. So this will be a very good way to just go in here and make sure that we get rid of all of these tags of the padding here so we can see exactly how it's supposed to be. Now, this is a great way to catch those design issues that you might not know are happening. So you see this kind of ghost x-ray mode. And so you can see everything that's happening in your designer. Two of my last favorite shortcuts are P and J. So P allows us to jump back and forth between the individual pages. So if I'm working on a massive, massive project and I just wanna jump back and forth between a few pages, I can go ahead and hit P and that will bring up the pages panel so I can go ahead and select the exact one that I want. And another thing that I like to do that saves me a lot of time is selecting J. J will bring up the asset panel. So now it's super easy just to drag this in. So for some reason, if you wanted to do this with the search bar, just by hitting command and K, you could also bring in the images, but you need to make sure that the asset is selected in the actions. Just type in the name of your file and you can just drag this in to your designer, wherever your layout, wherever you want it to go. And you can just delete the other one that you don't want. And now you've changed the asset in your file. Now you could also do that with just changing the file, replacing the image right there, but that's another way to do it. If you guys wanna learn more about Webflow, I recommend that you check out the Webflow Masterclass course in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.